hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new thank you all so much for clicking on this video and as you all can see we are headed into cvs today but before we go inside guys please do not forget to like this video comment down below and to subscribe to the channel it helps out when you guys do so if you guys can take a minute real quick it would be much appreciated so guys cvs has some pretty good deals going on this week i am actually pretty excited to go inside so let's go inside and see what we can get So the first deal is going to be on the head and shoulders they are on sale too for $12 and then when you buy two you get a $5 extra buck back my store only has these uh, conditioners left because um, it looks like some of the head and shoulders was on clearance so I'm just going to pick up two of the conditioners um, for $12 I'm going to use this three off of two manufacturing coupon from this month's PNG Sorry. and then we also have a digital version that normally double dips with this one so that's what i'm hoping for this time so if this digital double dips we'll be left paying six dollars at the register but then we're going to get that five dollar extra buck back making the final cost just one dollar for the both of them or 50 cents each the next deal is going to be on select baby care items on buy two get a five dollar extra buck and they are also buy one get one half off so the items i'm going to do this through twice but for this first time I'm doing it, I'm going to pick up some diapers. The first one is going to be one of these snug and dries at $13.49. And then one of these pull-ups nighttime at $13.99. My total for both of these products is going to be $20.73. Um, but for we have digital coupons. No paper ones, just digital. So for the Huggy Snug and Dry, we have a $3 off of one digital coupon and then for the pull-ups we have a two dollar off of one digital coupon so that's a total of five dollars those are going to leave us paying just 15.73 at the register for both of these but then we're going to get that five dollar extra buck back for buying two and then not only that on ibotta we have some rebates one of them is for the um huggies pull-ups for five dollars back on one and then this other one is four dollars back but it's not specifically for the diapers that i'm picking up but last time this deal was around it was like glitching and attaching to this size diaper so that's what i'm hoping for this time so hopefully i get that four dollars on there so hopefully nine dollars on ibotta and then on fetch i have this I have two different rebates. One is 1,500 points for the pull-ups, which is $1.50. And the other one is 2,000 points for Huggies diapers, which is $2. If all goes as planned, all both of my the final cost for both of these diapers is gonna be free and like a dollar seventy-three moneymaker. The next is gonna be on some Dr. Scholl's items. I'm gonna pick up two of these foot braids for $8.29. Um, that's going to equal me $16 for 58 cents. Dr. Scholl's is buy two, get a $5 extra buck. So I'm at $16.58 for these. I'm going to use these $5 off of one manufacturing coupons. They should work because it says for something price $7.95 or higher, and this is $8.29. So hopefully I don't have any issues. After my coupons, I should pay $16, no, $6.58 at the register. But then I'm going to get that $5 extra buck back and making it just $1.58 for the both of them, which I think is a really good deal. And I actually need this for me. Don't judge me. But yeah, I've been needing this, so I really wanted to get it. All right, so here's our receipt for the Head & Shoulders Huggies and Dr. Scholl's. So everything kind of went through. The Dr. Scholl's coupon actually did not go through at all. Um, but the cashier did manually like enter that she just price modified the items so that was nice of her um, but everything else went through I had an 8 off of 40 the head and shoulders digital double dipped with our paper one and I rolled over $20 in extra bucks and my subtotal was 31 cents I had a total savings of $58 with 33 cents and 99% and then I got the $5 for buying two of the Huggies, five for buying two of the Head and & Shoulders, and then five for buying the Dr. Scholl's. So a total of $15 in extra bucks came back to me. And then not only that, I did get $9 back on Ibotta for all of this, or for the Huggies. So it did get the $4 for the Huggies Snug and & Dry, and then the five for the Goodnight ones. 
and then on shop no fetch rewards i got a total of like 356 100 points back which is three dollars with 56 cents so 15 plus 9 plus 350 is 27 dollars with 56 cents and i spent out 20 dollars with 31 cents it makes this whole transaction completely free and a $7.25 money maker. The next deal I'm going to do is going to be on the CoverGirl. They are buy two, get a $6 extra buck, or buy three, get a $10 extra buck. And remember, with this kind of deal, you have to do either or. You cannot buy the two, get six now, and then buy the third one later to get the other $4 because you won't. You're either buying two and only getting six or buying the full three and getting the 10. I'm going to do the buy three, get 10, and I'm going to pick up three of these i pencils for 4.99 three of these are going to equal me 14 dollars with 97 cents i'm going to use three of these one to three off of one manufacturing coupons and then i also have this three out of the 10 cosmetic crt plus everyone should have got this three dollar off any covergirl cosmetic instant coupon from this week either in the app or at the red box machine after all my coupons I should actually be left paying nothing, so one of my CRTs should adjust down. So I'm not gonna pay anything, but I'm gonna get ten dollars back, making these free and a ten dollar money maker. So next, we're gonna pair in a couple of oral care deals. The first one is gonna be on the Oral B toothbrushes on sale for three ninety nine, and then when you buy three, you'll get a five dollar extra buck back. And this deal is a limit of two times per week. Um, I'm only going to pick up a total of three of them at $3.99. Then I'm going to do the Crest Toothpaste deal. They're not on sale, they're normal price, um, but they're buy three, get a $5 extra buck as well, but it's a different promotion than the um, toothbrushes. So I'm going to pick up three of the Crest Toothpaste on for normal price at $3.99. Then I'm going to do the Burt's Bees deal where they are on sale for $4.99, and then when you buy two, you get a $4 extra buck back. So my total for all eight items is gonna be $33.92. For the Burt's Bees, I'm gonna use two of these $2 off of one manufacturing coupons from this month's PNG. And then for the Crest Toothpaste, I'm gonna use two of the $2 off of one coupons also from this month's PNG. And then for digital coupons, I'm gonna use this five of the three or be Crest um, to uh, digital coupon and then this two dollar hopefully this two dollar off of one for the oral b toothbrushes this five of three also attaches to the crest toothpaste but i'm hoping with using those two paper coupons it will like knock it off from that one and then um so for that third one i'm hoping to use this two dollar off of one digital coupon so i'm hoping for a lot of things in this one i also have a six off of 30 or um crest oral b um crt that i want to use after if everything goes as planned i should pay ten dollars with 92 cents but i'm gonna get a total of 14 dollars in extra bucks back five for buying three of the oral b toothbrushes five for buying three of the crest toothpaste and then four for buying two of the bird's bees and then on i bought it we have this rebate for two dollars back on the oral b toothbrushes with a limit of three so i'll get six dollars back on there making all of these items completely free and a $9 money maker. we have the oral b birch bees crest and cover girl so not everything went as planned which kind of sucks my two dollar for the crest toothpaste digital coupon did not come off so yeah i should have just used another two dollar paper one but i didn't but every other coupon came off um all my cover girl coupons came off and then one of them adjusted down a little bit and then I rolled over $9 with 38 cents and I, my subtotal was $3 with 54 cents at a total savings of $58 with 35 cents and 94%. And then I got $5 back for buying three of the Crest toothpaste, five for buying three of the Oral-B toothbrushes 
and then four for buying two of the Burt's Bees. And then not only that, I checked my account and I did get the $10 extra buck back for buying three of the CoverGirl. So a total of $24 in extra bucks came back to me. And then not only that, on Ibotta, I got $6, two for each of the Oral B. So a total of $30 came back to me and I spent out a total of $12 with 92 cents. It makes everything on this receipt completely free and a $17.08 money maker. Um, if you end up using a paper one and it all goes how I thought it was going to go for me, then this will be a $19 money maker, but still I'm not mad at a $17 money maker. The next sale I'm due is going to be on the John Frieda items. They are buy two, get a $4 extra buck. Also, they are on sale for buy one, get one half off. So I'm going to pick up one of these John Frieda mousses at $10.29. Then I'm going to pick up one of these John Frieda Shine Vibrant Sprays for also $10.29. At buy one get one half off, our total is going to be $15 with 43 cents for these. I have the, I thought I had two paper coupons, but I'm still going to do this deal. I only have one and it's this $2 off of one coupon from coupons.com. It is expired. It's no longer available, but this is i think today's like the last day i can use this or one more week but i have one so i'm gonna use that that's gonna leave me to paying 13 what i say like 43 cents at the register but then i'm gonna get that four dollar extra buck back for buying two and then not only that on ibotta we have this three dollar rebate for the mousse and then we also have this other separate three dollar rebate for the vibrant shine so we're gonna get six dollars back on there making our final cost for both of these items just three dollars and 58 cents the next deal i'm gonna do is gonna be on the baby products again this is a separate account this deal is a limit of one per account so keep that in mind if you're gonna do this deal it's only one per account the first time i did it i did the huggies but that was a different account now i'm gonna pick up some johnson products um, I'm going to pick up two items that are $6.79 each. With the buy one, get one half off, my total is going to come out to $10 with 18 cents. And then for these, I'm going to use two of these $2 off of one manufacturing coupons. These are expired, but the CVS usually doesn't mind taking expired coupons. That's going to leave me to paying $6.18 at the register. But on Shopkick, we have this bundle offer for when we pick up two like different items. One is like a hair care, one is an essential item. Um, we'll get a total of 1,220 points back, which is roughly $4.88. I'm going to get that $5 extra buck back as well for buying both of these items, making my final cost for both of these items completely free and a $3.69 money maker. The next deal I'm going to do is the Spend 15 on Chic Skin to Mint Disposable Razors. Get a $5 extra buck and these razors are on sale for $6.99. So what I did is I'm going to pick up one of these Skin to Mint Razors at $6.99. Then I'm going to pick up two of the Chic um, Men's Disposable Razors at $6.99. All three of these are going to equal me $20 with 97 cents. I'm going to use two of the $3 off of one Chic disposable razors and then a three dollar off of one for the skin to mint disposable razor coupon that is going to bring me down to paying 11.97 but then we're going to get that five dollar extra buck back making the final cost just six dollars and 97 cents or two dollars and 32 cents per item We have the Chic, the John Frieda, and the Johnson & Johnson. All my coupons came off over here. I had, or I rolled over $21 with 29 cents, and my subtotal was $2 with 29 cents. I had a total savings of $61 with 44 cents and 96%. And then I got the $4 for buying two of the John Frieda items, five for buying two of the Johnson products, and then another five for spending 15 on the Chic razors. 
So a total of $14 and extra bucks came back to me. And then not only that, on Ibotta, I got $6 back for the John Frieda items, three for each one that I bought. And then on Shopkick, I got a total of the 1200 and 20 points i believe it was whatever four dollars and 88 cents is so i got 488 back on there so a total of 24 dollars and 88 cents in savings and with the extra bucks i rolled over i spent 23 dollars with 58 cents making this transaction completely free and a one dollar and 30 cent money maker so the next film is going to be on some hair dye products so i have this free like hair dye crt that's expiring soon so i want to make sure i use it before it does expire and i'm going to pick up the revlon hair dye they are 4.99 and then when you buy two you'll get a three dollar extra buck back um so i recently saw that my husband's mom my mother-in-law um, uses this kind of hair dye so this is why I was like this is a perfect time to pick some up for her so I'm picking these up they're $4.99 with this free CRT that, uh, that should make one completely free leaving me to pay $4.99 at the register but then I'm gonna get that $3 extra buck back and then not only that on Ibotta we have this dollar rebate when we buy two so we should get that back as well making our final cost for both of them just 99 cents which is super awesome because one of them is just five dollars and she actually picks them up this weekend and she bought them here and she buys she buys her stuff at cvs paying full price doesn't use anything and it blows my mind so i'm gonna pick these up for her the next is gonna be on the halls cough drops they are on sale two for four dollars and then on promotion for buy two get a one dollar extra buck back so I'm going to pick up two of them at $4. I'm going to use this $1.25 manufacturing coupon. And then we also have a digital version of this coupon that I am hoping will double dip with our paper one. If it does, we should pay just $1.50 for the both of these. But then we're going to get our dollar extra buck back. And then not only that, on Ibotta, we have a rebate for $0.50 cents back with only the 5 So we should get that twice for, both, for buying two hauls items making our final cost for two of these bags completely free and a 50 cent money maker and the last deal we're gonna do today is the spend 30 on participating products get a 10 dollar extra buck so the first item i'm gonna pick up is one of the tide liquids on sale for 12.99 then i'm gonna pick up one of the little tide liquids on sale for 6.99 and then for our last item to pair into our spend 30 get 10 i'm gonna pick up one of these scott paper towels the 8 equals 12 i believe it's the big boy 8 equals 15 and this is on sale for 9.99 so these are the three items i'm picking up for my spend 30 get 10. my total for all three products is going to be 29.92 and that is within the 98 percent rule that most cvs says follow so for coupons i have this dollar off of one for the little tide liquid and then this three dollar off of one for the big tide liquid these are from this month's png um, there, is, there are digital versions plus printable versions on the PNG Good Everyday website. So if you don't have the inserts, you have options to get your coupons from. That is going to bring us down to paying $25.92. But then we're going to get our $10 extra buck back, making the final cost of $15.92 for all three for just $5.30 per item. I have the hauls the tide products and then i use or i paired in the oral b toothbrushes again so i can use another eight off of 40 on a different account so all that happened i all my coupons came off the hauls a digital double dipped with that paper one and then the two oral b double dipped with each other and i rolled over 18 dollars and 16 cents in extra bucks and my subtotal is six dollars with 28 cents I had a total savings of $62 with 34 cents and 91 percent and then I got the dollar for buying two of the hauls, 10 for spending 30 on select products, and then five for buying three of the Oral-B. So a total of $16 and extra bucks came back to me 
and then I'll be submitting to Ibotta for $6 back on the Oral-B, two for each one, and then a dollar for the hauls, 50 cents for each one, so a total of $23 coming back to me, and with the extra bucks I rolled over, I spent $24.44. That makes my final cost for all of this just $1.44. Alright, so my last transaction of the day, I just did the hauls with the Revlon. So again, the hauls double dip. So that free coupon for the hair color took off the max value of $9, which I was not expecting that. So that threw my numbers off a little bit. Um, so it did bring down my extra buck to $2.48. But it is what it, I don't know, I felt like it is what it is just because that $9 took off five dollars or four dollars more than what i thought it was so anyways my subtotal came out to zero i had a total savings of sixteen dollars with 36 cents and a hundred percent and then i got the dollar for buying two of the hauls and then three for buying two of the revlon so four dollars and extra bucks came back to me but i submitted this receipt to ibotta and i got a dollar back for the hauls and a dollar for the revlon total of six dollars came back and with the extra bucks i rolled over i technically spent two dollars or 48 cents that makes this transaction completely free and a three dollar and fifty cent money maker all right guys so this is everything that we picked up at cvs today my total for all this before any extra bucks would have been 83 dollars with 73 cents i got a total of 73 dollars in extra bucks back a total of 24 dollars back on ibotta a total of 3,824 points back on fetch which is three dollars and 82 cents on shopkick i got 1,220 points which is four dollars and 88 cents giving me a total savings of 105 dollars with 70 cents making the final cost for everything you see right here to completely free and a $21.97 money maker haul which is super awesome I am super happy with everything that we picked up we got a little bit of everything laundry paper baby everything this was great I am super happy with this haul the only thing I do not have included in my number set is the second set of oral b toothbrushes that I got um, because the rebate I'm not sure if it will reset or not um, I did not include the six dollars in my final cost hopefully it does reset if not we still came out on top so i'm not mad um but this is it for me guys i hope you guys enjoyed i hope to help you out with your couponing putting your deals together and anything else you guys might have questions with but of course if you guys do have any more questions please do not hesitate to ask i'll always be more than happy to help you guys out in any way that i can and like always thank you all so 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 much for clicking on this video and watching what i do i truly do appreciate it and you guys it really does mean a lot to me and i really do appreciate each and every single one of you and until next time, have a good day. Bye.